Sewer Ninja. So EMC is an information infrastructure company. Uh, we provide a wide range of products. We're the industry leader in storage, security, uh, big data. Our, our true message today is how do we tie the mission capabilities to the technology and the innovative capabilities that we bring and, and give the Navy the ability to bring, build a true enterprise infrastructure. So RSA uh, is a company that we acquired back in 2005, and uh, and we've really grown that company, right, to be a true security company. So whether it's malware detection, whether it's threat analysis, whether it's government risk and compliance, we provide a full range of security products. We've also extended that security into the virtual world. Uh, being majority owner of VMware, we've o exposed um, an open API into the virtual container. So now you can manage security in virtual worlds the same way you manage them in physical worlds. You don't have to have two separate security architectures. So whether it's encryption, whether it's, whether it's uh, government risk compliance, whether it's network intrusion detection and analysis, we provide the full range of security products to protect the, you know, the nation's secrets. Uh, huge in the in the banking industry. A uh, couple things with continuous monitoring and adaptive authentication. These things have been around in the commercial industry for years. Uh, if you've ever had to put your zip code in uh, when you're using your credit card at a gas station, that's in its form of adaptive authentication, right? Uh, you're operating outside your normal patterns. That's the banking industry's implementation. If you, you've ever had to use an image to gain access to to your bank accounts, right? That's a form of adaptive authentication. You're going into your bank accounts from a computer you haven't before, or some place or location that you haven't accessed. So it's an additional level of security that the banking industry uses to protect your financial transactions. So we're huge in the financial industry. There's, there's thousands of new threats every day, right? Uh, the number of attack, the number of, um, of whether it's nation state actors, whether it's individual criminals that are looking for things, or they're trying to steal intellectual property, right? I had a, I had a session with uh, Senator Johnson from Minnesota, and he asked, well, if there's all these attacks and threats, why does anything work? Well, the adversaries want stuff to work, right? They want to come in. They want to be unknown. They want to steal the information that we have. And they don't want, they don't want us to even know they're in the environment. So the attacks are taking place every day, whether it's large security companies, system integrators, the government, state departments, one of the most attacked networks in the world. Uh, so the threats are there. And we got to provide continuous monitoring. Uh, we have to move towards a continuous monitoring environment, away from the legacy stovepipe border protection controls, that's just not, does not provide a secure ecosystem. So cloud is, you know, cloud is really being driven by, you know, the finance, financial benefits of off-site. People do not want to, want the CapEx, right? They don't want to put capital expenses to build infrastructure. How can I start offloading those services to the cloud? Well, one of the tectonic shifts in technology is VM is virtualization, right? Uh, virtualization is an enabler to the cloud. Uh, but what's it do? It actually increases our attack surface. Because so now uh, our compute resources, our network resources are all, all over the place. They have the ability to move, right? It also creates new ways of attacking our infrastructure. There was never a hypervisor in the physical world of the past. Today with virtual infrastructure, there's a hypervisor. So it we have to look at security and building security totally different than we did in the past, and it has to be done up front. You can't bolt on security. We've already proven that that doesn't work in the industry. One of the benefits of smaller companies using cloud providers, right, is typically smaller companies will not have the security expertise to build real secure ecosystems, right? They just don't have the budget. So smaller companies adopting cloud services where these cloud providers will have the expertise and will be forced to de deliver the expertise to protect the data. Secure Ninja Shorts are brought to you by SecureNinja.com. 
a world leader in information security and IT training and certification. Our master instructors will help build you into a highly skilled and marketable security professional. SecureNinja.com, forging IT security experts. Yeah!